peristalsis, this is an involuntary movement of the longitudinal and circular muscles that occurs in successive wave-like contractions, typically in the digestive system but also in other hollow tubes of the body. The esophagus, stomach, and intestines all have peristaltic waves. Depending on their position and what causes them to behave, the waves might be short, local reflexes or long, continuous contractions that run the entire length of the organ. Peristaltic waves start at the top of the esophagus and continue the entire length, pushing food ahead of the wave into the stomach. Food particles left in the esophagus cause secondary peristaltic waves, which eliminate residual substances. In around 9 seconds, one wave travels the entire length of the tube. Human peristaltic wave contractions in the esophagus are modest in comparison to those of most other mammals. Reverse peristalsis can occur in cud chewing animals such as cows, bringing food back from the stomach to the mouth for rechewing. Peristaltic waves are reduced when the stomach is full. The inclusion of fat in a meal can temporarily halt these motions until it is neutralized by gastric secretions or eliminated from the stomach. Peristaltic waves begin as weak contractions in the stomach and gradually become stronger as they approach the distal stomach regions. The waves help to mix the contents of the stomach and force food to the small intestine. Two to three waves are usually present at the same moment in different parts of the stomach, and roughly three waves occur per minute. 